This segment is out of order. Roller derby has been around in one form or another since the 1930s. Although over the decades the sport has evolved, the recent revival of roller derby is all-female, skater-owned, skater-run organizations, and games are played on a flat track. I've been playing uh, all-women's flat track roller derby since um, August of 2004, so a little over five years. I started November 1st of 2004. I believe since 2003 or 4, I can't remember exactly. It's been several years. I founded the league in like July of 2004, so <laughs> five years. <laughs> Oh, I went to college for engineering, too. <laughs> I've wanted to play roller derby since I was five years old. I joined because I was looking for a kick-ass group of women and sometimes get a little angry, and it's nice to let my frustration out and not get in trouble for it. <laughs> when we started um, roller derby, like most leagues, we were a drinking team with a skating habit um, and then became, you know, a sports team. At the beginning, when I started, I didn't know what to expect. And at the time, there weren't very many leagues established around the country. So we were all trying to find our way kind of blindly. Um, it's not like now where there's a league in every major city. It was very different at that time. Um, the culture was not as established as it is now. The evolution of the sport, just in the, the short years that it's already had the revival, has been amazing because when I first joined, it was expected to have fights. It was expected to have, you know, the bells and whistles and, you know, be um, over the top. And then became sport, you know, within a couple of years and just it's really rolled and become so competitive and so fast. The game has gotten very, gotten very technical. The training has become way more rigorous. It's become very organized as far as tournament play, um, a rule set that we all skate to. So there's been a lot of changes over the five years that I've been involved. The game is separated into jams. A jam can last up to two minutes. Two teams line up on the track. The pivots wear a stripe on their helmet and line up in front. These players set the pace and serve as blockers. Behind them are three additional blockers. The group of blockers from both teams are called the pack. Jammers line up in the back. They wear a star on their helmet and score points. Once the whistle blows, the pack takes off, then a double whistle blows, and the jammers take off. Both jammers are simultaneously trying to legally pass the blockers from the other team. Every opposing team blocker passed is one point. At the end of two 30-minute periods, the team with the highest point total wins the game. The rules set that most leagues play by is from the WFTDA. The Women's Flag Track Derby Association was established in July of 2005. Um, 23 founding leagues were there, Rocky Mountain Roller Girls included. Um, I was there at that first conference. Um, since then I've been what's called a WFTA representative for my league, which means that um, I participate in the derby business and governing on a national level. I vote on behalf of our league on issues that come up for a vote, things like that. I have met the most amazing women, best friends, that I feel probably were long lost sisters. The rewards of Derby, I mean, are definitely kind of a sense of pride that, you know, that we all have as far as, especially right now where Derby is really starting to gain some notoriety. Um, just kind of like, wow, dude, we did this, you know. And this is something that's affecting so many girls from high school all the way to ladies in their 50s, you know, that. This is something that belongs to them, it belongs to us. You may return to your broadcast.